FGTV is a channel that a lot of people remember from their childhoods, run by a dad and mom with four kids. A lot of people remember the channel, and a lot of people have fond memories of them. Today I'm going to be ma going over the iceberg that I made of them, covering the well-known and the less well-known. If you don't know how iceberg works, basically, at the top layer is stuff a lot of people know about. Then when you get further down, it's stuff that can get more disturbing or unknown. It's FGTV! Funnel Vision slash FV Family is their vlogging channel. They just do vlogs of, you know, fun things like challenges, going places, and a lot of other things. A lot of people know about this channel, so it's not too crazy. Toys refers to the FGTV toys released, and they're in different stores such as Target, Walmart, and other places. I bought one of the toys, and it's not bad. The quality's alright, and there's different kinds of toys. Sean is the fourth born child in the FGTV family, and he's in a lot of videos now. Funnel Boy is the mascot for Funnel Vision slash FE Family. He's been seen in some videos. He's a cartoon character with a smiley face for an eye, and he's a cool character. He's in some of the videos, and they reference him a lot. There's also toys of him. Books refers to the FGTV Into the Game and FGTV Saves the World books. They were first released at Target, I believe. There was even commercials for them at Target. I've never read either of them, but they're in a cartoony comic style, and they look pretty interesting. Nicknames refers to the nicknames given to the mom, dad, and the kids. For the dad's nickname is Duddy, kind of like a reference on daddy, but Duddy to make it funny, I guess? I don't know. The mom's name is Moomy, or the nickname is Moomy, to be like, mommy, but Moomy, you know? Also, there's some nicknames for the kids, such as Funnel, Funnel Mike, Funnel Lex, Funnel Chase, Funnel Sean. It's FGTV! Think Noodles is a friend of FGTV. He's been seen in some videos where they play Among Us and Roblox. He also has his own channel, which is very popular. I suggest looking up his content if you're interested in Roblox gaming and other gaming. And if you see him in FGTV videos, give him a look. He's a pretty cool YouTuber. FGTV social media refers to FGTV's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and also his kids' Twitters, Instagrams, TikToks, all that stuff. Roblox Star Code refers to FGTV's Roblox Star Code. When you enter it in and you buy Robux, it gives him money, I believe. So, yeah. This when you're in when you have a Star Code, you're also in the Star Creators program, which is for YouTubers who play Roblox. FGTV hate refers to the haters of FGTV. There's many rants and opinions that people have that are not too nice to FGTV. Some of them I think are reasonable, while others are kind of just stupid. And if you hate him, that's fine. What does FGTV stand for? FGTV standing for something has kind of been a mystery. It's obviously family gaming TV, but then also it's been like family gaming uh, something excellent extravaganza videos or something i don't remember what it is i'll put it up on the screen um but yeah it's FGTV. merch based off of the games that they played refers to the merchandise some are toys, such as Psycho Pig, obviously based off of Piggy. 
They also sell some shirts with the characters from different games, such as Ice Cream, uh, Piggy, and I think Granny also. And I remember him saying in a video that he gives like 50% of the profits or like all the profits to the creators. So he's not being a scumbag by taking all the money. Intel Vivo is one of his lesser known channels. He's turned it into a podcast now, but it used to be for music and songs. And it's more for the teenagers and adult fans of FGTV because he does have some swearing in it. So yeah. Sponsored videos refers to the videos where he gets sponsored to play some games. The only one that I can think of off of the top of my head is some of his LEGO World videos, but I'm pretty sure there are some other ones too. Changing channels refers to when he changed channels from Do Much Fun to Do Much Fun, from Funnel Vision to FV Family. Uh, I don't remember why he did it. Um, I'll pull up a clip or add an editor's note of what happened but he did change channels you can still access the channels and for some reason the old funnel vision channel has two videos on it one announcing some of his toys and another being one where they were announcing sean's gender and they would do did some like cupcake challenge i don't know why it's on that one i'm pretty sure it's not on the fe family channel and on the fe family channel and do much fun channel they started them in 2018, the new channels, and they re-uploaded every video, except for maybe a few, but yeah. It's FGTV. FGTV swearing refers to when FGTV quote-unquote swears in his videos. Some people think that he says the S word, F word, and many other words. The only instance that I think that he did swear was in an Intel Vivo, uh, video. The mom and dad's real names refers to the real names of the mom and dad, Duddy and Moomy. Or, the mom and dad, okay. The dad's real name is Vincent, and the mom's real name is Samantha. They just don't say it in their videos much. FGTV is colorblind is referring to when FGTV says, I'm colorblind. Some people think that it's real. Some people think it's a joke. Um, I personally don't know. I think he kind of jokes around with it, but also he might be colorblind. I, I really don't know. If you know the answer, please say it in the comments and I might pin your comment or heart it or something because I don't, I honestly don't know. Funky Bunch is a channel that FGTV is subscribed to, or their old channel is subscribed to. It's basically a channel run by Vincent's mom, sister, other sister, dad, and other parts of the family. Um, they haven't been uploading as much, but they still do have some content on their channel. And yeah, I haven't watched it personally, but it just seems like sort of like another family vlogging channel. Brick and Betty was a channel that FGTV collabed with multiple times. The one instance that I can remember myself is the biggest Jenga tower video, where there are Lego figures and they run away because they're scared of the big Jenga tower. They made Lego content on their channel, but they haven't posted in years. They did do collabs with FGTV, and they're semi-popular, but I guess they've just quit YouTube at this point. It's FGTV. Low quality thumbnails refers to the low quality thumbnails in the FGTV videos. Now you might be thinking, what do you mean low quality uh, thumbnails? Well, f I found a few videos with low quality thumbnails. And the reason why it's down this low is because not many people know about it. It's not disturbing or anything. One was in a video where they went to Legoland, and another was in a Minecraft TNT Creeper video. And yeah, it's kind of weird, but must have just been a weird error. FGTV playing GTA 5 refers to when FGTV played GTA 5, I believe, three times. And he did it once to kind of make fun of the FTC 
uh, COPPA compliance law thing where he dressed up as another uh, kid's YouTube channel, uh, Blippi, and he went around like, ah, I've gone crazy because of COPPA and stuff. Other ones is where he played with mods and stuff. It wasn't too crazy or anything, but it did stir up a little bit of controversy. Playing inappropriate games refers to when FGTV plays inappropriate games. Of course, uh, GTA 5, he played that, which is not really appropriate for children, like, at all. But also, some people critique him for playing games like Five Nights at Freddy's, Granny, um, and other ones. And I understand why. I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's, Granny, that stuff isn't really for kids. But I guess since a lot of kids are into FG are into a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff, he doesn't really care and he just wants views. But I don't know. I'm not really too against it though. Becoming less family friendly over time refers to when FGTV is sort of becoming less family friendly over time. He's been playing more inappropriate games, not really swearing, but kind of making like adult references. Well, not adult references, but like. You know, sort of like, not too kid friendly references. Um, of course, him quote unquote swearing. He has been saying more like, I guess, mean words and stuff. But yeah, he's become less family friendly over time. Some people don't like it, but I don't really care that much. Milking games refers to how he's milking videos when he plays popular video games. If you don't know what milking means, it means that you're really pushing it too far with going on one topic. Such as me, uploading a lot of iceberg videos right now, because I want views. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, it's about FGTV, oh yeah. But yeah, he's been milking games and stuff. Sometimes he has characters like Granny, Freddy Fazbear, Piggy, lots of popular characters with kids in videos that don't even reference them. It's kind of weird, and yeah, I didn't... I don't really know why he's doing it, except for views and money and stuff, but yeah, some people have noticed it, other people just don't care, but yeah, it's sort of just a thing. It's FGTV. Kicking it, kicking it with Vince is a s very secret channel that he has. I found it. I don't remember how. I think I searched up one of his videos and like sorted it by most popular. And I found one from a channel called Kicking It With Vince. It only has around like 200, 300, 400 subscribers. And it's just, it seems like just another channel re-uploading his content, but it's not. He's actually, it seems like he's running a secret channel he hasn't been on it for quite a while, but it does seem like a channel that not many people know about. And basically, it's sort of like the prototype version of his videos, such as the Oreo mozzarella stick video. He has a different font and a different thumbnail in the Kicking It With Vince one. And it was uploaded before the actual video on Funnel Vision FV Family. So yeah, this was definitely weird. I'll link it down below if you want to check out the channel or whatever. FGTV abuses his kids. People have been saying that he abuses his kids, and I don't really believe it. We're going to get into how he quote-unquote abused his kids. And people say, oh, his kids must have PTSD from the stuff that they've went through. But I don't really believe it because... His kids seem fine. They don't- I don't think that they have any PTSD or childhood trauma or anything. But yeah, let's go into the stuff that is, I guess, quote-unquote, abusive. The killer clown prank was when FGTV and his friend pranked his children by dressing up as killer clowns, chasing them around, and scaring them. Some people think it's staged, some people think it's real. Uh, I personally don't know. He deleted the video, though. And, yeah, people say that he abused his kids in this video, but I, I, I don't think so. But, yeah, I don't think that he abused his kids in this video. He kind of just scared them more than anything. Uh, he deleted the videos, though. So, yeah. 
The solar eclipse controversy refers to the controversies around the solar eclipse video he uploaded. Now, in the video, his oldest, his second oldest child, okay, in the video, his child Michael takes off his glasses during the solar eclipse and looks at the sun, which is something that you're not supposed to do while a so solar eclipse. And Michael started saying, ah, my eyes hurt, oh my gosh, and stuff. And the dad kept on recording and was like, well, you're just messing around, Michael. But it did seem like Michael was hurt. But then afterwards, FGTV put in the thumbnail and title, it's a skit. And he did do a response video where he says, it was just a skit. We're sorry for uploading the video. Please don't get mad with us. It was fake. Michael even said, yeah, it was, it was a fake video. And also they do make references to it sometimes. But, yeah. FGTV uploaded a Roblox video where he plays Roblox with his kids. It doesn't seem anything bad or anything. But then you see, it's a video about where they escape school or something. And that seems normal. But then when you look at the date it was created, it was on the same day that... So, on the same day, there was a... That happened on a school in real life. FGTV uploaded the video on the day that it happened. But the thing is, I don't believe that he- Some people believe that he did it for views and stuff because people were searching up school that same day. But the thing is, he probably recorded and edited the video before it happened. So, I personally don't believe this. Some people think that he did it so that more people would view his video, but I don't believe it. Well, that was it for the FGTV iceberg. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like and share it with a friend. Because a lot of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So subscribe if you want to. And check out some of my other iceberg videos. Well, my one other iceberg video at this point. I'll be uploading more iceberg videos through the summer and the year. But for now, bye.